Hey everybody, Spoonfrat here, and um, today I've got a big, huge thing planned uh, for Spoonfrat. So let's just get started. Um, this is a continuation of the uh, SEO part, uh, yeah, or the SEO series. Um, because I figured out a nice way to show you like um, all the different types of content management systems, and to show you what does it look like like how do you do that all, all those steps well first things first I already opened up like three tabs on my browser but um, w when you get hosting you probably get an email from said host company uh, that you're with to um, with some details like where to log in and uh, usually it's a cPanel login so you get an IP address with uh, 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 colon 2082 and you have to log in with the credentials that they give you so that's what I did and this is what it looks like um, so you can see a lot of options and I've blurred out the stuff that is not necessary for us to um, we don't need it right now and first things first I'm gonna uh, first create a subdomain and then I'm gonna create a um, SQL table or SQL table because or SQL database I should say not table I'm gonna create a database because we need those for the content management systems and I'll be using the same one over and over and over again uh, so yeah um, first subdomain um, it, in my case you know this is what my cPanel looks like so when you log in into your one uh, I know the web dev is Far different than this one, but try to look for an, like an option that um, has like a subdomain, something, something with subdomain or domain options or whatever. I'll click that, and as you can see, uh, here are all my subdomains that I have right now. Uh, and the one blurred out is a different project, so um, yeah, that's not necessary. Um, um, plus there are some options for redirection uh, remove redirection and to delete which um, yeah it here says this process on the average takes a few hours so it takes a few hours for the subdomain to uh, like appear which is okay I mean uh, I don't have anything now I'm gonna make no, I'm not test. That's too lame. Um, call it showcase. So showcase.spoonfed.org is going to be my uh, domain. Um, which I'm going to show you like Drupal in this case if you've already looked at the browser. But I'm also going to do uh, Joomla and I'm going to do WordPress. I'm going to do Typo3 and that's about it. I think just the ones that I did in the video. Those are the ones I'm gonna install and show you. Well, this is the back end, this is the front end. You know, this is the install process. It's usually the same still. Uh, and I'm gonna show you Habari uh, as well. Um, here it says, here, this is a cool note actually. They they give you a lot of information. It says here, if you wish to grant virtual FTP access to the subdomain, just create an FTP user with the same username as a subdomain base name that is listed inside the bracket above. So, what does that mean? Well, if you create a user with just Windows, that will only be granted access to Windows.spoonfed.org. Why is that handy? Well, um, let's say you're working in a team, and or you have, I don't know, a company or whatever, but you only want the person you hire to be able to access the, the, the blog portion of your company. Well, that's, and, and, and it's supposed to be uh, blog.spoonfed.org or something. Then, you don't want him to be able to upload like his files to every other uh, subdomain or main domain. You only want him to be able to upload files if necessary to block that spoonfed block. But uh, I'm just gonna do this. I'm gonna say add. Do, 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 do. Then we wait. Well, it has been added. Um, there it is. We could try it out of course already but it 
set it could take a while so let's just see what it does well here you go it's a error because it was not aligned yet so, uh, I'm just gonna wait I'm not gonna wait for this to be online like because it's not all we need to do uh, that's how you add a subdomain so uh, that's it for this video actually I mean, it's that easy you don't already have a oh no, no I didn't show you that by the way alright if you go home that's that's something I did not show you um, the thing is well once you get like hosting at like 3ix for example you have to fill in the domain name that you get and where you have the domain name you you uh, fill in the name service so you know your main domain is already active as it, as it were in case of this hosting if you want to have more domain names on this hosting you need to do this add-on domains so I'll show you that and I'll show you park domains as well so we we covered the whole domain section in this video it's gonna be a bit longer than I thought but who cares so add-on domains are the names that um, you wanna have on the server alongside your main like domain name so if your main domain name was uh, the uh, insect thing so you had uh, insect notification.com but you also pardon me you wanted to have um, I don't know something completely different like uh, how to play guitar.com you, and you want to have it on the same server you need to add here how to play guitar.com is the domain name username directory subdomain name is whatever you want it to be uh, and then the password for that domain is the password for getting into uh, like the FTP section of it you can make that anything you want you can even leave it open you don't have any password or username uh, for that one so you only have the new domain name it's fine um, so let's add on domains so add on domains means um, you have your main domain name and you wanna have another like top level domain as in some like www dot and then example.com that example.com is a top level domain you wanna have that running on the server as well that's add on now parks domains what that means is let's say you you well you registered like uh, I don't know a couple of domains but you're not currently doing anything with it well instead of like letting it go to to waste as it were you could like park a domain name here and uh, what, what it does is you will get there but then it will say well this domain is, is, is currently uh, unavailable blah, blah blah and you have like you can get uh, advertisements on there so you can still maybe make some money with it I'm sure you've seen it uh, if you type in a wrong URL you sometimes get to a page that says well this is unavailable but yada 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 with like Google Ads and stuff like that that's like parking your uh, domains um, they must be registered with a valid registrar before they can be parked. Blah, blah blah blah. Well, the thing is, I don't have parked domains because I don't have like uh, URLs or domain names that I that I don't use. But someday might. Um, well, that's it for the whole domain business, as in how to add a subdomain with cPanel uh, in this case. Uh, how to or what are add-on domains in cPanel and what are part domains in cPanel uh, this is it for me for now and uh, we will see you next time for the SQL database creation and for the rest actually so take care and see you next time